What's up, world? This is old James from East Texas again. Coming at you from old, guess where? Old East Texas, man. I'm just trying to hit on you about this old uh, Russia-Ukraine battle we got going on. And uh, I'm just going to let you know, Russia ain't going to win this one. Uh, <laughs> all this war is doing right now, besides wiping out Ukraine, which is, I mean, that that's that's... That's not okay. I pray the blood of Jesus over the people of Ukraine and their military. <clears throat> I pray that Jesus protect them from any and all harm, for sure. But uh, <clears throat> as far as NATO backing them and everything, I think it's a good thing on two fronts. It's helping Ukraine beat Russia and hold back Russia, which is nobody ever thought was possible. So that, that that's freaking... Even I thought in the first three weeks of the war, I was like, there ain't no way Russia's or Ukraine's going. Ain't no way. <clears throat> After about two weeks in, boy, I changed my stance real fast. Like, Ukraine, man, y'all some fighting sons of guns, man. Y'all, y'all people, <laughs> like, I, I, I would love for y'all to have my back in a fight any day, and we got y'all's back for sure. Absolutely. But, uh, <clears throat> as far as Russia, man, these dudes. Dang shit, man. The whole world was like, no, we're not going to have Ukraine's back. We're not sending them any weapons. We're not going to send them this. We're not going to send them that. And after about a month of them, Ukraine whooping their ass, man, NATO and everybody is willing to send them everything. Anything and everything that they want now. <clears throat> Speaking on that term, uh, <clears throat> this is also good for NATO because NATO... America, Canada, Germany, France, I mean, every every European country that's been stocking up arms to fight Russia for 60 freaking years is now has a chance to use all that old ammunition that they've been stocking up for 60 years. I mean, by the hundreds of millions of artillery shells and, I mean, I don't even know how many tens of thousands of missiles and stuff that are almost out of date. Most of them probably are out of date, but now we have a reason to use them so we're literally sending them all and selling them all to ukraine so this is a good thing for nato and america because now we're sending them all of our old ammunition and so is germany everybody else is sending them all their old shit that's 50 40 20 10 years old like all all the shit that we've been stockpiling forever it's all going to ukraine and I'm pretty sure they're just either giving it to them or giving it to them at a super cheap price because the stuff is super old and about to go out of date. It's probably been out of date for a while. So we're sending them all that. Now everybody has a reason to buy new up-to-date weapons, artillery shells, missiles. I mean, even 50 caliber rounds that are <laughs> incendiary, armor-piercing armor, armor piercing incendiary rounds. Like, I mean, anything and everything that you possibly think of. Like, we're going to get all new shit now. The whole, Na all of NATO is getting all new shit now because we're sending them all of our old shit. We're not sending them any of our new shit. <clears throat> so Russia's not doing anything except for digging a big hole for them. And uh, they're not going to win anyways. They think they're going to take Moldova next. I mean, they're not going to even, they're, they're, not, they're not even going to take Odessa. Like, I mean, Odessa's a fortress. Like, they're not going to take shit. Russia needs to go home. Communism is going to stop right now. And we're going to make sure that it does. Power to the people. Glory to Ukraine. God bless America. And God bless the world.